Hello and welcome. My name is Kevin. This is Do for Bruce. We're here in CK3. Back again with a time lapse for y'all's enjoyment. Uh, this time, we, our suggestion comes from Joseph Edward, and he suggests an alliance of dukes versus empires. So we have gone ahead and done that. My interpretation of that, at least, uh, we have all the empires in the world are ran run by immortals and then we have the former german empire run by immortals as well but these immortals are all allied to one another so there's about 31 of them i believe and they are all allies the other thing is they all are all part of the bruce family so that will give them another edge on everybody else because they're making 16 renown uh, a month so that will give them more and more uh legacy uh boosts and boons so that will be another thing to check out and see how that progresses through this time lapse let's make some predictions i think two nations will be formed by the uh two kingdoms will be formed by the dukes uh, uh my guess is bavaria will be one of them east Francia will probably be the other one those two will be the kingdoms that they form the, and then they'll form maybe one random and then i think the most powerful empire at the end of the game will be francia just because they have uh the more homogenous culture from the get-go uh they usually are pretty good at uh, maintaining their power and expanding uh the byzantines could be another runner-up but i also have a feeling that they're gonna they're gonna implode because that's what i love them to do all right so that's those are my predictions and i'll see you in the post
Okay, here we are. About 483 years in the future. Let's just zoom around the map and see what, what gross activities we've been up to. Uh, looks like Frisia was formed and Westphalian was formed. Uh, those are two of our Duke boys probably that did that. Molly, African king over here. Big thick boy. Uh, he's doing well for himself. Tibet hung in there. I felt like they fell in and out of favor all the time. Uh, some of these other Indian empires too. Is that really a Zoroastrian faith? What in tarnation? That's that's insane. We'll, we'll we'll get back to that. It looks like Bavaria, and is there one of our dukes? And so is uh, Westphalia was one of our dukes. Frisia is not one of our dukes. Lotharingia not one of our dukes. Let's go to the kingdom title and see what gross factors have been produced. So, so it looks like East Francia and then West Franconia, Lotharingia, Westphalian, Frisia. Yeah, all gross things that exist in in this modern duke alliance i can't believe Salz kingdom of salzburg got uh created i want to look at the title history this one of the immortals made it and then he also made the kingdom of bavaria which is kind of silly that he did both but you know it's 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 fun we had 32 of our dukes being immortal and then we had worldwide we had so there's 29 plus 31 of our boys so 60 immortals started the game and we are down to a pittance number of five of these boys still living and kicking most of them actually are part of the bruce family it was those guys who survived and then our one our big molly boy uh the anointed who reformed his faith and did all that uh so prediction one was two to three kingdoms formed by these boys and i said bavaria and East Francia would be one of them, but it looks like they created one kingdom, two kingdoms, three kingdoms, four and five. Five kingdoms were created by these insane Duke Alliance. So they did a pretty decent job. They're, they themselves are pretty powerful, 71,000 troops, 65, Frisia has 28. Being the most powerful might not be true. Looks like they're having a rough go of it right now. Westphalian or Mali, it's gonna be a, tie between these two as the most powerful i think because frisia is powerful but bavaria uh, it's yeah i think it goes to westphalia so one of our dukes actually became the most powerful ruler on on the face of the planet unless there is somebody out here that i'm not i'm missing i don't think so let's jump to religion and see where we're at uh looks like they he reformed one of the african faiths so it goes catholicism first then ashari Asharism second and then Buddhism three third. So looks pretty uh pretty crazy. Uh you always love to see though. What I mostly love to see is watching the Byzantines implode, especially after so many years of domination. You would think they would be able to keep it together, but nope. They uh they fell apart. Huh. I wonder if the if that's true. Let me look at the again at the immortals that survived. So one two of them three of them four of them so of out of the five that are left four of them were the learning trait so they just that's probably helped them stay alive through uh different stressors and all that government types yeah feudal and clan some tribals still left around it was a pretty exciting one just because it was fun to see how 31 nations try to <laughs> keep each other safe and sound uh it was pretty interesting to see how well they worked together and then it kind of fell apart when the the, the mega states were formed but i'm glad to see that of of the surviving immortals they were of the duke federation that's all i have for you today don't forget to comment like subscribe and have a good rest of your day i will see you in the next one ciao ciao